Marcus Bell will be rung in the stadium and there's a sequence dedicated to the wonderful NHS. Sounds brilliant. As for the rest, well, Danny's keeping his powder dry, so we sent Alex Riley to try and fill the gaps. Stay. Good save the Queen! We did learn today that Danny has commissioned the biggest bell in Europe, which will hang at one end of the stadium and sound at the opening of the games. I think we found the man to ring it. The Olympics, we arrived in the opening ceremony. Tony, hello. Oh, good morning. Hello. Uh, Tony, how did you manage to get yourself involved in the opening ceremony of the Olympic Games? Well, hi, uh -huh. Anthony. Dear Anthony, congratulations. The London 2000 ceremonies are pleased to inform you that you have been successful yes. in your audition to become the ceremonies volunteer performer. I thought, hang on a minute, it's got to be a job for a town crier. So what are you actually going to be shouting at the opening ceremony? I can't tell you that, I've been sworn to secrecy. Will it involve the word, oh yay? Oh, I don't even go on that. Really? Mm. And uh, through to the first part of the, uh, the uh, auditions, yeah. when I got there, they said, right, um, Drop your bell, we're dancing. What? Did you actually use some what of the dance moves? <laughs> if you ask me, Tony could carry off the whole shebang. Whilst the opening ceremony spectacular remains a mystery, we know the end climaxes in the lighting of the Olympic cauldron itself. And Danny, if you are looking for an idea to top the Chinese, well, here's one you can have for free. With just six months to go from today, let us therefore brace ourselves to our duties so the world shall see that this, for Britain, shall be our finest hour. So exciting, isn't it, Al? It's so exciting. It might not happen quite like that, though. No. <laughs> anyway, so with the clock ticking, the pressure is ever mounting for our British hopefuls yet to qualify for Team GB. Uh